Your brain keeps functioning for well over seven minutes. Well, we got six more minutes to play. Uh... What is going on, guys? This is Chase here, and today I've got the Jemmy 2010 six foot tall Spirit Halloween life size Freddy Krueger. That's a mouthful. Um, I got this at a meetup. Um, I got it off of Dark Shadows Reviews or John or Terry, whatever you want to or however you know him, for uh, 350 bucks, which is an, an absolute fantastic deal for this thing. Um, I've always wanted this guy. He is literally like my, not like, he is my favorite life size that Jemmy has ever done. Um, with the movement, the audio, the look of the thing, I mean, it is just so amazing. Um, this has the most animation out of any horror character that Jemmy's ever done. And this, I mean, and it, it has really, it really has the most animation out of any life-size Jemmy's done. Besides the cold, or not the Cauldron Witch, the, um, uh, Fortune Witch. But, but the animation is distributed between two characters, the Skull and the Witch. Whereas this one, this single, this singular character has all the animation, which is awesome. He has finger movement. Uh, hand movement, his he lifts his arm, um, he has body turn, uh, mouth movement, head movement, and eye movement. Um, so a lot of animation, which makes this character so, so cool. Um, but I've always wanted him. I I saw him in, at Party City, I think, in, I think he was sold at Party City in 2012. But I saw him at Party City, and I loved him. Um, I didn't, I didn't really think about buying him. I mean, I, I wouldn't have had the money either way, but I didn't really think about buying him. I just thought he was a cool display. They had him set up, and obviously he's a lot smaller than I remember he, him being. He's like like 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, um, but he is 100% fully working. Um, he is complete. He's not dirty or anything. I think the base has like a little dust on it, which, I mean, the if you guys have, you know, life size, you know, like the bases are, they, they, they're just dust, they're dust magnets. Um... But no gears are split. Nothing is splitting. Um, he has the original hat. Um, and these, I mean, the foam isn't even indented, which I heard that, like, if it is, then it, I mean, it was, you know, used a lot. But, I mean, this thing um, was brand new in the box when he got it. And I had the box here. It didn't have the original shipping box like Jason did. But, I mean, the box on this thing is still in... It's in decently good shape. And what's cool about this box is it actually has the original spirit tag on it up there. You can see it was marked um, uh, $50 off. That's so really cool that it still has that tag. So this this is from Spirit Halloween. But I think that it was sold... I don't know where it was sold in 2011. Because I know... I, I'm pretty certain that he was sold in 2012 at Party City. So I don't know where he would have been sold in 2011. But... Um, but yeah, really happy to have this guy. So let's just go ahead and go through all the uh, phrases. How's this for a wet dream? Why are you screaming? But I haven't even cut you yet. <laughs> As you can see, the hand does stay up all the way. It doesn't slip back down. Um... Sometimes it slips down a little bit, but it's never, like, gone all the way down. Um, so it's cool that it actually stays all the way up without even, you know, clicking. Because like, I know that's a problem that some of them have. And here's a song. One, two, three. Plays this song again, which I'll skip over. I'm your nightmare. You have nothing to worry about. This will hurt one little bit. 
besides the song, his um, mechanisms are very, well, they're not loud, but the, you can definitely hear them. Um, but when it's playing the song, I mean, it's very loud and you can't really hear anything. But um, I know that a lot of people don't like how, well, not maybe not a lot of people, but I've heard this before. Some people have complained that, you know, um, the head like only turns like that side and that side. It doesn't really stop in the middle. Um, I actually prefer that. I love the belt driven head mechs because they, you know, they slide with ease. Like they are very easy to turn. I've always loved it like that. Um, and it's really an easy fix. I think they're, you know, easier to fix than the, than the older ones for whatever reason. Um, obviously you have to worry about the rubber belt dry rotting, but I don't see this one going out anytime soon. Um, and actually the body turn isn't even that loud either. I mean, you can see when you turn it, like it sounds a little loud, but when it's actually, you know, going off by itself, it's not loud uh, whatsoever. And another thing I love about this thing is that, um, see how these, ha it has the holes right here. Um, you can't see the body shell or anything because they have, um, black inflatable fabric underneath there, which I absolutely love. Because I know on the Robert England Friday that they did, um, he has a clear body shell, and it ha it's the same exact shirt. So, and you can see right through it. It, it doesn't look good at all. Um, and I do not, I do not like the Robert England um, Friday that Jemmy did whatsoever. I don't think it's good. Um, I think it lacks animation. I think that it's, it's just not good. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a few fights right now. Um, I think that the 2010 Freddy movie was better than the um, original Robert England Freddy movie. Um, and only because I did not grow up on the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, this was actually, I watched the 2010 movie before I watched the older one. Um, that might be why, but I I like that he's actually scary. He's he's terrifying. I mean, oh my God. Like, I want to show like how realistic his eyes are. Like, you can see the bloodshot and like the small like black on his eye right there and you can tell it's moving like it is like insanely detailed he looks exactly like he did in the movie like with the uh shots that you could see his face because it was the movie itself was pretty dark but um no i like that the the movie's actually like scary it's terrifying but you watch the robert england freddy and it's it's cheesy like it's 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 one of those you know old, whole, um old horror movies and it's not saying it's not good it's just i prefer when i think of a horror movie i think of something that's scary the Robert England Freddy is not scary. Um, I'll go ahead and play him a few more times, though. Your memories are what fuels me. <laughs> you can see with a lot of his phrases, um, they're not long enough for him to do the body turn and the, the arm movement. So I really like that he does have finger movement because it, it adds, it, it gives it a little bit more animation for those small uh, phrases. So he can, he can have his, you know, fingers moving. He can have his, you know, head turn, mouth movement, and eyes, and um, it'll still look good without the body turn. He has. I think we almost did all of them. Did you know that after the heart stops beating, the brain keeps functioning for well over seven minutes? We got six more minutes to play. So his phrases are just going to restart, but I mean, he has a great deal of phrases, amazing animation. Um, the detail on the face is it's disgusting. Like, it is like beyond uh realistic um and you can take his hat is removable although um john had a little bit of tape on the inside of the head um and had it like that um so if he had it outside it you know it wouldn't blow in the wind or anything which is probably it, that's probably what i'll do because i mean you lose the hat and you're i mean it's not it's not the end of the world because they they literally make the exact um hat uh rubies does which is a costume company they they sell them at like party city and stuff like that um so i could just get that but it's it's I like I like to be I like it to be original, and I know that people when they lose the hat they put like a butler hat on him or whatever. I don't I don't I don't know why people do that. Like they they literally make the exact hat nowadays. Like you don't have to like 
like buy one secondhand. You could literally just walk into a party store and get it. So I never understood why people don't just, you know, use that like $12 hat on him um, when they lose it. But, you know, it's not my item. I don't, I don't really care. Um, but as you know, with older life sizes, he does collapse. And the only, the only downside I will say with these horror life sizes, um, is because of how thick the pants are, the wrinkles do stay. So when you do have them decollapsed for a long period of time, um, his legs will, um, kind of like stay up like this or his, or his pant legs because like they're, they're so, you know, used to being compressed together. So they'll be like that. So you do have to kind of straighten it out and hold, hold it down for a little bit for that to actually keep that shape. Um, but that's really the only downside about the collapsible items. And you can see even the hand has an insane amount of detail on it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, again, this is my favorite life size that Jemmy's ever done. I absolutely love this item. Um, the arm, the hand is detachable, by the way, on every single model. You can, you can take off his hand. The, there's a little button right here you press. Or sorry, it's on this side. Oh no, right here. You push this button and his hand comes straight off. Um, and his hand is very heavy. I, I'm surprised the mechanism doesn't really struggle to lift it up. I mean, obviously, it, you know, the it's slower going up than it is going down, but it doesn't really seem to struggle. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, this is the 2010 uh, Spirit Halloween uh, six foot tall life size Freddy Krueger from the 2010 remake Nightmare on Elm Street. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, big shout out to Dark Shadows Reviews for selling me this thing i i this i love this thing um i am beyond happy with the purchase the only thing i have to do is kind of adjust the um um what is, what is it called the um the adapter jack because it's a little loose so you have to have it like exactly in there or you know he won't be getting power which i mean if you have it if you have it in there you know correctly then it's fine I thought it was a glitch with the circuit board at first, but then I started wiggling it, and you could hear like the speaker popping and everything. So you, you have to have it exact, but once you get it in the good, once you get it in a good area, then it, it's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys again next time.